Shadow of the Colossus's reputation is as big as the giant creatures you fight within the game. One I'd heard about for years but never got around to playing, this is a PS2 game that's been HD-ified and re-released on both the PS3 and PS4. Heck, it was even given out with PS Plus, uh, I think a couple of years ago now. So honestly, I had no excuse to have never played this game. However, if you know me, and know my review scores, I, I have a hard time being wowed by games, and honestly, everybody kept praising this one, but when I saw gameplay clips, it never really did anything for me. And it said, I finally decided it was just time to rip the band-aid off and play the dang thing. So is Shadow of the Colossus a giant standing tall among the sea of mediocre video games? Or should it have stayed in the shadows? Let's talk about it. But before we do, quick reminder, if you like the video, go click the like button. It helps the channel out, and I appreciate it. Now, if this game does one thing right, it's presentation. The sense of scale in this game is honestly epic. There's no other word for it. Riding your horse around the plains make you feel as tiny and insignificant as you really are and the colossi truly tower over you. It's intimidating to look up at these giant monstrosities, knowing that you need to somehow take them down. Further, the graphics themselves are incredibly impressive. Now, I'm not 100% sure on what they did in the PS4 version compared to the PS3 version. I don't know if it's a further remake or just an update on the visuals, but the game looks right at home on the console. It doesn't feel like an old game with just nicer textures. The music is solid, it fits the scale of the fights, and it's varied enough for each of the different colossi that it never gets old. I was seriously impressed with how good this game looked, sounded, and felt. And I give the presentation a 5 out of 5. Now on the other end of the spectrum is this game's story, or lack thereof. You play a boy whose love has died. He comes to this strange valley where apparently a god or something can bring back the dead to life. However, in order to do this, he must first slay the 16 colossi spread out across the area. Now after you kill a colossus, these weird shadows come out of it and pierce into the boy, and he is returned unconscious to the temple where he starts from, and they stay as shadowy figures. The ominous spirit voice gives a little two-sentence description of where to find the next Colossus, and you're off. Immediately it does feel like something's off about the whole situation, but nothing really happens until you've slain all the Colossi. There's a cutscene at the beginning and the end of the game, and that's it. Now, there is a technically full story told here. That said, it is fairly straightforward and leaves a lot of surrounding details omitted, and the player kind of has to fill those in through inference and assumption. This is unlike games like Dark Souls, where there's a lot of lore. There's no lore or world building to really be found in this game. And the overall story is fairly predictable and by the numbers. Due to all this, I would give the story a 1 out of 5. The game is essentially a boss rush game. You can explore the overworld if you'd like. There are some shrines that you can save at, some lizards that you can hunt and eat that increase your stamina or health. But the majority of the game here comes in the battles with the Colossi. Each one does have a unique approach that is required before you can climb it. But once you figure that out, you just climb to the weak points and stabby stabby until they stop moving. It sounds repetitive, and it is. But I will give the designers credit for doing a good job on that initial part of each boss fight. Each one does feel unique and like a puzzle that needs to be solved. Now those puzzles aren't entirely complicated or difficult, and most fights did feel a little lengthy, which got annoying. It felt like they would just pad them out by 
making sure you had to get knocked down and climb the Colossi a second time or something. Climbing itself is a simple yet tedious trial of patience, as your character gets ragdolled all over the place, feebly gripping to the hairs of the Colossus. Fortunately, I did feel like the climbing mechanics could be mastered, and while it did require a lot of patience, that patience does pay off. I never felt like I was struggling to kill these Colossi. There are a couple of fights, however, that are just downright frustrating with obtuse solutions, but on the whole, it was a positive but simple experience. And I would give the gameplay a 3 out of 5. Overall, to me, Shadow of the Colossus is a miss. The scale and feel at the start is so epic, but it's not really enough to carry what ends up being mostly repetitive combat with the Colossi and a lack of story. While each fight does have its unique elements, it's not enough to mix up the overall experience, and all the fights do kind of blend together in the end. Again, there's no real story to speak of, and what little there is is predictable and generic. There's nothing new happening here narratively. The game is a fine experience, and it's not that long. I beat it in about eight hours. So I kind of find myself in a weird middle ground. Overall, I don't think the game's that great. However, that initial feeling of scale and epicness in that first fight or two with the Colossi I do think should be experienced by everyone. The game just makes such a strong first impression, and I think everybody should at least give it that chance. For me personally, the novelty wore off fairly quickly, and that makes it hard to justify the purchase as a recommendation unless you can get it for bargain bin pricing. For a final rating, I would give Shadow of the Colossus a 2 out of 5, with the odd Caveat that it is worth trying, uh, but you should grab it on sale, a deep discount, which I think you can get it for at this point. It is an old enough game that I assume goes on sale regularly enough. So what do you think? Is Shadow of the Colossus a masterpiece? Or am I right that it's maybe a little overrated and repetitive? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what other games you'd like me to review on the channel. I'm always looking for new and fun games to play. And if you'd like to see me play these games in real time, you can follow me on Twitch, where I play these games in real time on Twitch. And you can watch that, and then we can have a conversation or something. I don't know. How does Twitch work? You tell me. Also, if you liked the video, again, friendly reminder to like the video it does help the channel and I appreciate your support. I will see you guys with the next video.